Well, good day, everyone. This is uh, Christopher Bear, and uh, glad to see you uh, guys back uh, from uh, my pharmacology course last semester. And uh, congratulations, you made it through the semester, and you're back for another one. I'm going to be your instructor for uh, RESP 125, Section D01, and that is uh, the second semester respiratory therapy physics. So I'm just going to take you guys through the course setup and through Canvas uh, very quickly. Uh, you guys have been using uh, Canvas for the past semesters, so none of the information is going to be particularly new to you guys, but I'll just kind of show you how the course is going to be set up nonetheless. So let me go ahead and just pull up Canvas. So when you guys come into uh, Canvas, you will see the homepage that looks like this. Uh, this will be in the syllabus homepage, and the first thing you'll see is the course syllabus. And right here in the middle, I'll actually have the uh, link to this video that you're watching. So the video will pop up, and you'll actually see a copy of the syllabus. Uh, currently, we're, we're still waiting on some information to put into our syllabi before publishing them. So you don't actually see the link to download the syllabus here, but that's where it'll be. Uh, the majority of the course, uh, the information or content you'll need from this course will be in the module section here on the left. And just like pharmacology, you'll click on the modules, and I have the course divided into 10 different modules. It starts at uh, unit, or 10 different units rather. Uh, unit 1 is introduction, basic me units of measurement, conversions. Uh, unit 2 will be a review of calculations in the algebraic me method. Uh, unit 3 will be a classical and quantum mechanical overview. Uh, unit 4 will be states of matter, thermodynamics, and kinetic molecular theory. Unit 5 will be the gas laws. Uh, unit 6 will be physical aspects of gas. Unit 7 will include fluid mechanics. Unit 8 will include gas transport and diffusion. Unit 9, capillary action surface tension. And then Unit 10, Introduction to Mechanical Ventilation. Uh, so you'll find uh, course content with uh, loaded into these modules by the time this course uh, is uh, uh, completed and published for you to see. Uh, there aren't, there are no, there is no content currently in these modules. Uh, and I will say that this course is a little different from pharmacology, where pharmacology had uh, some PowerPoint uh, lectures. There'll be a very minimal PowerPoint lecture, and I'll be providing you with notes that you can follow along with as I lecture. And virtually all of the lecturing will occur um, uh, basically off of uh, those notes. I'll be lecturing off the notes, a lot of stuff on the blackboard, um, and a lot of interaction. And you'll also have um, some labs associated with some of these modules where we'll be doing some, some experiments and using the scientific method uh, proper. Uh, so that'll be the basic setup of this course. Uh, I will also say that um, on the syllabus, you'll have the syllabus to download again when it's ready to go. I'll just show you what the syllabus will look like when it's, of course, when it's published. Um, so this is your syllabus, pretty standard, very similar to the pharmacology syllabus. Um, and of course, all my syllabi include a comprehensive uh, lecture, lecture test and lab schedule here. Uh, be very important to obviously to download that, copy it off. Uh, methods, evaluation, grading, uh, different types of uh, information, objectives, so on and so forth. And I also have uh, a um, important dates or dates to remember, and this is actually right off of the 2012 2013 uh, DACC calendar. So this will be up and ready to download uh, for you guys um, pretty pretty quickly. Okay, guys, that's really going to be it. Kind of, kind of short, kind of, kind of sweet, but uh, I think you guys have a pretty good idea of what uh, what you're going to do, what uh, and how the course will run, and uh, we will see you guys um, after January seventeenth.